Stay tuned, because today, Mom's going to show you how to make $5 sock blockers. Yippee! Hey guys, it is Erin or Gimme Yarn 418 and I am here with a tutorial. This is going to be how I've made some sock blockers um, and it costs just $5 to do, maybe a little bit less depending on if you have things around your house. You probably have seen in my videos that I typically use these sock blockers. Um, but these for me are more for when I finish them to take my finished objects, I'm not going to lie. I don't typically block my socks on these. When I hang my socks to dry, um, I was looking for something that was just a little firm that gave that sock shape. And I had seen lots of people make sock blockers out of plastic placemats. But I wanted something just a little bit firmer, so I made these. And they're two-sided, they're not... Um, just white on one side and they're a little bit more substantial than the other ones so I'm going to show you how to make these um, and it's really quick and easy there's a little bit of waiting but it's quick so first let me tell you about the sock blockers that I do already have I have these wooden ones and these were made custom made for me by Chappie's Arts and Crafts and these cost $29.50 and I got these at Stitches. And, well, I bought them at Stitches and then they were shipped to me because they were custom made. I also have these ones from Knit Picks. These are a size small. I don't particularly care for these ones because I think this is a really small, small. Um, these ones were $13.99 and they come in other sizes too. I just thought small was what I needed because I wear the, a size 5. Um, but not my favorite ones. I very, very rarely use these. Um, you can get ones similar to these from Webs, and those are $15.99, and Webs also has some wire ones, like really thick, not coat hanger material, but wire with hangers on the top, and those are $16. <coughs> and these came from a friend, um, Vicki Weaver. She sent me these, and these are really nice, um, but I couldn't do these because I... Probably am not allowed to use power tools this substantial. So what will you need to make these two-sided sock blockers? Um, and I use these um, and I just hang my socks like this. So what you will need is to go to the Dollar Tree or a store similar to that and pick up four plastic placemats. Um, like I said, these are from the Dollar Tree. This is the Black Damask print. Also at the Dollar Tree, they have these teeny tiny bottles of Mod Podge. You may already have this at home, but that's a dollar. So that's really all you need to buy for these sock blockers. So five dollars, you'll have a pair of sock blockers. Things you need that you'll have at home, something to spread the Mod Podge, you could use a Q-tip, you could use a paintbrush, anything you have. I just have a load of these hanging around our house. A Sharpie, some sharp scissors, and a template. For myself, I use this as my template. However, in the link below, in the description below, is a link to this sock template. And you just cut out the size that is right for you. And you have your template. I would suggest cutting it out on some cardstock so that you can make more than one or more than one pair if you want to. And then you would just, you know, continue up straight on this side to form the sock. So it's that easy. So let's get started. So first things first, you're going to need your four placemats, the Mod Podge, and whatever you're using to apply it. Before we start anything, you're going to want to make sure you take off the label because you want your surface flat. And you want to make sure you get it all off. Mine comes off nice and smoothly, so you shouldn't have too much trouble. So I have two placemats with both of the 
labels removed. The next thing that we're going to do is apply the Mod Podge. Now, I'm typically a Mod Podge failure and think that if a little is good, a ton must be better. But on this one, definitely, we want to go with the less is more mentality. You want to spread your Mod Podge as smoothly as possible and as evenly as possible. Um, if, if it's not smooth, there's going to be bumps and um, we don't want that. And then you want to try to go all the way to the edge. Probably want to protect your surfaces when you do this. Then we just take our second placemat and place it right on top. It doesn't need to be perfectly lined up because of the way we cut it up. Oops. But of course, I'm going to try and get it perfect anyway. You want to smooth it out, smooth as possible. And if you like, you can weight this down. We're going to take our next two placemats and do the exact same thing. Now, trust me when I say you want to let these sit for 24 hours. Through the magic of YouTube, we have two completely dried right here. So we're going to start with one. You're going to take either the template that you've cut out from the link in the description below or your pre-existing sock blocker, and you're going to lay it down whatever way you think it looks pretty. I kind of like mine like this. And then carefully just trace around. The entire sock blocker. Take your other placemat. Probably want to try and arrange it in pretty much the same way. And trace again. I will suggest if you're going to use a sock blocker you already own to use a really sharp sharpie or and or probably both wipe down the edge when you're done so that the sharpie doesn't stay. Last but not least we're going to cut the sock blocker out. You want to make sure that you're cutting smoothly and don't have any jagged edges. You'll have a chance to smooth those out if you do. And I'm going to start down here at the toe and just go as smoothly as I can. Take your time. There's no rush. you do is just run your hands over the edge to see if there are any sharp edges because you don't want it to poke through your yarn and I think mine look pretty good so there you have it two fully reversible sock blockers for just five dollars and in very little time I would love to see your sock blockers when they're complete. You can post them either on my Ravelry board, the TJF Ravelry board, on Instagram. Just tag me in the picture because I'd love to see them. Or I'd love to see a video of your completed sock blockers. That is all I have for today. Enjoy. Make lots of sock blockers. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.